What's happening, everybody? What's good? What's good? Oh, man, just a little cleanup time. Got to get it in, you know? What up? What up? What's up? East End Bullies. Juan. Diana. What's up? How y'all doing? Right, we just fixing to do a little cleanup, man. I thought I thought I would go live for y'all. I'm gonna come on in. Thought I'd go live for y'all, man, just to let y'all see what's happening. We got uh, most of the dogs out playing, and I'm fixing to clean up a little bit in here. I know a lot of people gonna be rolling in while I'm gone. Uh, just a little, a little evening routine. Just an evening routine. Nothing major. Not too much going on. What's up, Cleopatra? Get out of the way. I got Cleopatra all with me in the kennel. Get out of the way. Crazy little dog. There you go. Trying to get some smell good in here. I got Z for AK to Big Mac still in the kennel. Because so lay is in heat. We got Emma bread. We have Bree bread to diesel. We did an outside breed yesterday. We're fancy to diesel. Just a typical day. But, I do got something real exciting for y'all. I do got something real exciting. I'm gonna rinse, I'm gonna try to hurry up and rinse these out like quick and then come back to the top. But I want to get it rinsed first. I was going to see the video, but for some reason the videos were taking forever to load. I don't know what's the deal, so I'm just gonna go live. Might be going live for a while, you know? The videos, for some reason, the videos are taking like six hours, man. Six hours a load, that's kind of crazy. Yo, what's up, Jamal? You see you over there, huh? Hey, thank you, man. Yeah, so lays outside, what's up? Man, appreciate it, man, about the tub. Mr. Big. Salim Abdul. Salim Abdul, what's up, brother? Hey, Betty, what's up, Betty? That's a nice profile picture you got, Betty. Chelsea, what's happening? Kush, what up, yo? Hey, Jane, how you doing? Oh, Mandingo, all right. Mandingo's out there chasing his tail, man. How can I get Royal Kennels hats? The Royal Kennels hats are at lids. They at lids. Um, I mean, if you want to go through me, it's like 20 bucks for the hats. Um... It's, it's ten dollars I believe for the head and like ten dollars for the broadry. You can go through me or you can um, you can go straight through them. I mean however you want to do it. I got my baby girl. y'all see her she chilling with daddy. Yes, she chilling with daddy.
He got bit by, man, Mr. Big, man. I'm very sorry to hear about that, man. Dang, man. What you doing for? What you doing for him for the spider, bro? Man, y'all see Cleopatra? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. She is a beast. Buy you kennels, my main man. What's up, baby? What's up, Abraham? Man, Big Mac chilling, man. Big Mac is surrounded by a bunch of girls in heat. Hey, thank you, Puppet Master. Man, that neck. That neck is insane. Raul, what up, baby? Yeah, you right, Jane. You right, dude. Dude's in heaven. But he's like, he's looking at me like a hater. Diesel looking at me like a hater, like, man, what's up, man? This is my area, man. Why, why you got other dudes coming over here? You looking at me like I'm a buster. I'm like, Diesel, I can't let you hit. I can't let you have it. Man, the bullet police would go insane if I let Diesel have everybody. <laughs> man, the bullet police. Man, the bullet police would go retarded. <laughs> Man, I'm looking at this girl Bree, y'all. I got Bree over here. Bree was um, one of my first productions. And when I look at her, I get so excited thinking about what's going to come out of Diesel, of Diesel and her. And I just, I'm just looking at it and I want y'all to see and imagine. Look at that, y'all. Imagine that to Diesel. Do y'all know how crazy that's going to be? Man, that's going to be muscle on top of muscle on top of muscle. You know what I'm saying? And she got insane drive. Everything I produce comes with insane drives. Yeah, Jane, thank you. I mean, everything I do comes with insane drive. We got Emma. Emma, I don't know what's going on with Emma, y'all. I'm not sure. I mean, she's put on a lot of weight. She just recently stopped eating. And I know that's, that's uh, sometimes a major part of pregnancy. You know, they go through some things to where they stop eating. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that's what it is. Y'all see, she has put on some weight. Um, she is, the, her nipples are starting to drop a little bit. Um, I just can't get my hands on it. Hey, I appreciate the comment about the hat. Man, the hats, I'm going through lids, y'all. I, um, I could probably go through a cheaper company and get probably like some cheaper hat. Wow, look at her, she done got out. Hey, Bree, uh-uh, nope, go. Clear your camera. It's Clear your turn. Clear your out. Get in your camera right now. Bree, get up. Um, I could probably get like a cheaper hat and go through a company um, that'll probably do a little cheaper job on the embroidery, but I mean like, who? Who don't want to go through lids, lids for your caps? I mean, lids is like the, the number one thing popping right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go through lids. Uh, I do get like a little discount. I get like 20% off because I, I got with like this little platinum program. So it, it makes the head like 20 bucks total, which isn't really that bad, you know, if you buy any other hat. I mean, I'd much rather sport a Royal Kennels hat than some uh, professional team, you know what I'm saying? So, lids, lids, locally is what's happening. Um, if you do wanna, if you do wanna cap, go ahead and text me. Text me at, um, at 337-446-5933. There will be no Royal Kennels added fees um, whatever the price is at the store is what you guys pay. Um, you may have to pay a little shipping. We'll see once it comes, but that's it. You know what I'm saying? No added fees. I ain't trying to make no money off of it. You supporting it is is me making is me making a ton. You know what I'm saying? So 
I greatly appreciate you guys for that. Um, as you can see, the hats are fresh. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's just me that makes it look so good. <laughs> but the hats are fresh. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm getting one of every color. Y'all know I wear a lot of colors. I wear a lot of colors. Put a little, little smell good down right quick. Uh, I never really showed you guys, but this, this is what I put in the drains. I hook them onto the drain. Kind of keeps it, uh, keeps it fresh. Hey, beautiful. What you looking at? Amy girl, what's up? I just walked up and seen you. Liz off the chain. Yeah, man. Emma does look pregnant. Man, Betty, thank you so much. Uh, I'm hoping she is, y'all. I really am, man. I can't say enough, but you have one of the best kennels I've seen. T. Smith, man, thank you so much. That, that really means a lot. For real, that means a lot. What's up, bro? Video of Tank coming to you shortly. Man, I greatly appreciate that, brother. I greatly... Hey, man, how y'all did, man? How, how you and Pops did fishing? I had to laugh at the hat joke. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I got to throw a little something in every now and then, Amy. You know what I'm saying? They are looking good, Brian, from the start, brother. Hey, thank you very much. Thank God that hat makes you look good. Hey, I ain't, I ain't tripping uh, by you, Kenners. I appreciate the hat. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate the hat. All right, so I'll just go ahead and, and hook these things on, hook these on to the kennel, spray it down and leave it, and it leaves it fresh. You know what I mean? Hey, Merlin, buy your kennels. Don't you got kennels to clean? Go clean your kennels, man. Go clean your kennels. Hating on, hating on my head and looks. <laughs> Y'all, Bayou Kennels is my brother, y'all. Bayou Kennels is my brother. I can't, I can't, um, I can't express on here, you know, how much I truly love them. I mean, they are, they are major, um, major people in my life, y'all. Um, he's like my everyday, my everyday road dog. In the morning when I'm dropping my kids off, I wake him up every single morning. I aggravate him, you know, um, I'm very hard on him because I want him to build a successful program. Um, and I try to keep him grounded on you know the positive things of the American bully. So uh, shout out to Bayou Kennels. That's my people, y'all. Uh, you guys also may have seen on social media, I posted a picture. Me and Bayou Kennels had went fishing. And Bayou Kennels had caught a little catfish about that big. And I caught a redfish about that big. So I posted the, the picture of me holding my redfish and Bayou Kennels holding his catfish. Uh, that's, that's usually how it goes down. I'm trying to teach him how to fish. But he, he's a little up there in age and they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. So I'm kind of struggling with that. But he is a great guy. I love him to death. Yep, I love him to death. And you know, one of the good things, one of the good things, he comes here on a daily basis to help me remodel it. So he sees and interacts with the dogs on, a, um, on an everyday basis. You know, so it's like, when I sit here and talk about how amazing the dogs actually are, you know, this is somebody who can actually uh, vouch. They can actually vouch for him. Dion Barber, man, congratulations, Dion. What's up, Bochan Kennels? Oh, man, I'm chilling, just, just working. I'm just getting up, trying to take care of the dogs. We did good. He can't fish with me. I'll fish him. <laughs> oh, man, I'm chilling, uh, Bochan. I want to see Emma. Oh man, Emma, 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 Emma. I don't know what's up with Emma, y'all. But we back, we back to the Emma thing. 
I mean, it's kind of very hard to tell. Um, of course, she did add a little weight, but I, I just want to see. I want to see that big, that big belly. You know what I mean? That big belly to where you know, you know she got them puppies in there. So I, I just haven't seen nothing. Pull the nipples and see there is milk. It's still a little too early for uh, for checking the nipples. Um, my brother is still a little too early. Um, once once those uh, later days come, like uh, 55, you know, 50. Once I get to those days, I'm really gonna, you know, I'm really gonna know. It's gonna be kind of like a no-brainer um, once I get up there. But right now, I'm just trying to foresee the future. You know what I'm saying? Kind of, kind of just hoping. So, that's, that's basically it, man. I try not to look at it every day, <laughs> but it's impossible, you know? I'll be like, Emma, go play it. I ain't looking at your belly. You know? But it's so hard. It's so hard because I want to take so bad. You guys know I spent um, I spent a lot of time finding her a stud. I spent a lot of money on them, and I, and I want it to be just as amazing as I planned. This dog, I mean, this dog is one of the best dogs I've seen. He's the number one producing dog that I know. You know, um, the kennel he came from is an amazing kennel. Uh, a real, real, real live dog man. One of my mentors in the dog movement. Uh, dude is legit, y'all. Dude is legit. Man, he got a little right now. With uh, with one of his girls, he bred to a grand champion, Rocco. And he got a little right now that I see showing on Facebook. And it's unreal, man. God, it's unreal. Dion. Congratulations, brother. Dion sent me a picture today. Um, he got um, he got him a natural tie. He got him a natural. Yeah, Boshan, I think I think she is. I mean, I hope she is. Crazy how far you've gotten with this. Keep doing what you're doing. Hey, thank you very much, um, Julieta. That, that that really means a lot for real. You guys know you guys know I'm a real humble humble guy. Um, I love my dogs. I love my program. You know what I'm saying? And and I really put my all in it. You know, I really, really, really put my all in it. LOE Bullies, what's up, baby? What's up, LOE Bullies? Shout out to LOE Bullies, man. A true dog, man. Um, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of guys you meet into the dog movement, um, you meet people with a lot of different motives. And um, I've been I've been following and kicking it with Jerome with LOE Bullies for a very long time, and he's one guy I can say with the dog movement he has no ulterior motives but the dogs. He truly loves the dogs, you know. And when I mean the dog, I mean the breed itself, you know. He truly loves the breed. His goal is to better the breed. No tweaking, no adding. It's just it is what it is, better to breed. Myself, you guys know, I try to get what I can out of the dogs. I don't, I don't add none of that crazy stuff, of course, but I like a little more freakier dog. You guys know that, I like a real bully dog. One thing about Jerome, Jerome is an American bully breed standard junkie. You know, that's all I can really say about him. An amazing guy, an amazing dog man, shout out to you. He has one of the most beautiful XLs I've ever seen. Um, he is a grand champion, and I believe um, Jerome was the handler when he did um, get his grand champion title. That alone is a major thing. Shout out to, to Jerome for that. You know, um, amazing, amazing dog, man. Yup, 
What's happening, Latrenda? Nice of you to stop by. Brian, you are so humble. Don't change. Amy, I would never change. I promise you I'll never change. The pits and bullies, it was nice to have more of the right guy. Know the right of kennels out there. Hey, what's up, Anthony Staples, man? Appreciate it, man. And yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's the thing, man. You know, we all got different tastes. You know, we all got different tastes. Um, and it's all about what the what each individual loves, you know? What I love, you may not love, and what you love, I may not love, you know? And, and that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine, because at the end of the day, God made us all different, you know? And I, I'm, a rock, I'm a Rock Wilder fan, too. I love Rock Wilder. I do. I love Pit Bulls. I love Pit Bulls, you know? That's where, that's where my love started at, you know, with the Pit Bulls. And I got, um, the Black Carlito, the Black Carlito, he, he might be tuned in. I've been messing with this guy with dogs for 20 plus years. You know, I don't ever talk about how long I've actually been dealing with dogs um, with, from the pit bull, the bully breed, still like, you know, four or five years into the bully breed. But I, I've been breeding pit bulls for over 20 years. You know, I got away from the scene for a little while. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people know my situation. But I got away from the scene from for over a decade, you know. Um, but I got guys that's on this channel, you know, and and I hope he sees it to pop up. Twenty plus years of straight, you know, interacting with dogs together. When I was just a little kid, you know, 15, 16 years old, messing with dogs. I'm 36 years old, you know. I'm like like I said before, I'm a humble guy. I don't feel I need to get on the internet and prove my uh, prove my history with the dogs to anybody. But I, I just started this. The bully breed is very new to me. The bully breed has been very new to me because we all know how the American bully came along. Nobody has no solid grounds and facts on them, so it's kind of hard. If you don't have a baseline, it's kind of hard to know what you're dealing with if you don't have a true, a true baseline. And we can't follow nobody but the creator of the breed, you know? No no throwing slangs or nothing. I mean, you know, I ain't that type of guy. But, I mean, that's just the difference with the bully and the pit bull. It's a major, major difference. A major difference. But me and this guy, he came visit me today. He drove two hours from Homer and came visit with me this morning. Uh, me and this guy got 20 plus years invested together in the dogs. And he's a major, major dog man too. Somebody who loves dogs, you know. Back then, back then with the dogs, money to sit there and make a, a major amount of money on dogs that wasn't even that wasn't even uh, equation. It was just pure dog men. People love dogs. People took pride in creating masterpieces. You know, people took pride in creating masterpieces. And, you know, a lot of people look at me and look at this kennel and be like, oh, money, 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 money. Man, I spent almost $500 a month on food. Ain't had a litter in almost six months. All the money that I made on dogs, I pretty much invest into their living quarters. I put, un I mean, countless amount of money, you know, into these dogs. It ain't about money. It just takes money. It takes money for them to live the way they live. And it's my choice to have all these dogs. You know what I'm saying? It's my choice to have all these dogs because I love them. Sometimes I breed them and I just can't get rid of them. Like Cleopatra, Lord. My baby girl, I just couldn't get rid of you. You were just the truth. You know what I'm saying? People forget about the cleaning up and taking care of what's good. Yo, man, for real. No doubt why. What up, my dude? They gonna be in trouble. You right, Al. All I got to say, bro, you know you think that you. A100 DI. Oh, man. Hey, you know what, Jose? Man, they not haters. I ain't even calling them haters no more. They promoters. They promoters. B, we all love your passion. A100% uh, Tiffany. Beauchamp Kennels. Shout out to you too, um, Tiffany. Tiffany is a is a dog woman, you know. 
a true dog woman. I can I can honestly say that she's a true dog woman. And shout out to her. You know, she she just kind of coming onto the scene. And and the crazy part about the American bully, if you're just coming onto the scene right now, the scene is just it's I mean it's in an uproar. You know, it's it's really crazy at the moment. So it's kind of hard for somebody to come into this movement right now and and really see the, <clears throat> the true American bullet because they got so much stuff going on. You know, so it is hard. Um, it's been a major learning process for me. You know, when I first got into the dog, people weren't as helpful. People weren't as helpful as they are now. It was like, it was some get it how you live stuff. <clears throat> But I can't admit you, you did see, you did see a lot more quality dogs um, than, you, than you do now. And the, the movement, the movement has changed. The movement has changed for people just coming into it. And I'm, I'm new to it myself, you know, I'm not, I ain't no OG or nothing. I just... When I, when I got onto it, I just grabbed it and went ahead with it full force, you know? Kind of picking up where I left off 15 years ago with the American Pitbull Terrier, you know? Uh, and with the videos, with the videos, whenever I, I started the YouTube channel, if you notice, since day one, I've shared experiences that I went through. I've never shared what I read. I've never shared what Dave Wilson said. I never shared what another kennel said. I shared what I experienced. I experienced so much, you know, in the first few years of the dogs, learning on my own, you know, with people not wanting to help, you know. And then when I started opening the door with these videos, you didn't even have people showing pup dogs, puppies with their moms. I started that with the videos. People wasn't even showing those sides, you know. so. It's, it's, it's been a lot different and it's changing. And now it's just, whew, I feel, I feel kind of sorry, you know, for the people just coming into it because they don't, they're not even really getting an opportunity to see the major stuff. And then a, a lot of the major breeders or people who say they were major breeders when they started, it's, it's kind of hard to watch them because every time you look at them, it's like they talking about other people. Nobody wants to see somebody constantly talking about somebody. We want to see dogs. We want to see dogs. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to hear people constantly talking about the next man, talking about this, talking about that. Nobody wants to see that. We want to see action, man. We want to see dogs. We want to see good stuff. You know, the only time you teach somebody is when you're mad. We want you to teach us whenever you're happy, too. You know what I'm saying? When you're happy, it's like, oh, man, we don't exist. But when you're mad, you telling us, you know, everybody's giving all the game. Man, we want, we want, we want the game all the time. You know, we want the game all the time. So that's just what I try to do, y'all. I try to give my experience. I ain't the best. People say, you know, hey, you're the best kid and stuff. I ain't the best. I don't even want to be the best. <clears throat> you know, I just love the dogs. I just love the dogs, and I just show I just show my dogs as, as much as possible. Look, Cleopatra just chilling. She chilling by Diesel. <laughs> Look, when I say her name, when I say her name, she start wagging her tail. You know, too much personal drama. Yeah, not enough bully action, man. Not enough bully action. And that's that's something major. You gotta crawl before you walk. You know, a big thing, a big thing that I'm totally against. You know, and I never, I never, uh. Hey, what's up, brother? I never really say that, you know. I never really say a lot of stuff on how I truly feel. But, like, when you see people constantly buying, buying dogs, buying dogs, buying dogs, ready to breed and stuff, that's not really that cool. You don't even have a personal relationship with this dog, you know. You don't even have a personal relationship with this dog. How are you going to breed a dog that you just got, you know. But I don't say, I don't, I don't knock nobody. I let them do whatever they want to do. That's your program, your kennel. And I feel like you're gonna learn. You're not gonna learn by me telling you because the more I bash you, the more I bash you is the more you're gonna wanna start doing other things. You know what I'm saying? So 
Sometimes you just gotta let people learn through their personal experience. It's not the best thing for the breed, of course not. But man, when you look at when you look at some of the stuff going on in the bully move, needs need seven pups ASAP. See what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it, sometimes hey, you it is it's it is a learning it is a learning experience, especially whenever you got people who don't really want to give you no major game on it. It's a learning experience. You know, so you gotta do your research, but you got to you got to have dogs that you build a personal relationship. You gotta know the pedigrees. You know, I made mistakes before. I ain't, I'm not perfect, but I promise you this: I've learned from them. I've learned from them. There's no perfect breed out there. I see I see breeders who who make mistakes all the time. They just don't show it, like the average person does. You know, so I'm, I'm just rambling, y'all. Just giving it to y'all, man. Raw and uncut like I do. I ain't got nothing to hide, man. I like I like, I like like to talk with y'all. I talk with y'all. Like right now, it's great. It's great. <clears throat> I like to talk to y'all when it's good and when it's bad. When it's bad, you guys see me, I'll be down. I'll be down. When I, I had, I had like 15,000 saved. <clears throat> I was down. I lost four puppies. The, my litter just didn't turn out the way it was. You know, Disa had freaking broke out of the kennel, and bred the diamond. I told my wife, I said, you know what? I got this in the dog account. I said, this is what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to take all this negative stuff that's going on, and I'm going to turn it into something positive, and I'm going to invest it all into the building, change it the way I want it. I spent a countless amount of money building this thing. Manned it for a year. I didn't like it. I really didn't like it. It was doable, but I didn't like it. And then I had to come back and put in the same amount of money it took me to build this thing to remodel it, you know? So it made me have to invest way more money than I've ever should have invested to build this thing. But it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And I turned that negative into a positive, you know? And that's what, that's what we do with the dogs. We turn all the negatives into the positive, you know? <clears throat> I'm not gonna sit there and talk about talk about you or talk about what you're doing. You know, you talk about me. You got you got your family thinking about me. You know, that's that's bad, man. That's bad. When you go to sleep every night, if my name come out your mouth, when you go to sleep every, night, I'm I'm the last person being thought of. That means I got control over your life. You don't ever want to give somebody control over your life. Never. Never. I got too much pride to even mention another man's name. That's it, man. That's it, brother. You know me, bro. I'm all about respecting you. Teach one. You can't complain, be upset that the things are going on right direction and willing to teach somebody else something. That's it, man. If you got a problem with something, <clears throat> if you got a problem with something, you don't let it take control over your life. You don't let it take control over your life. What you do is you show them better. You show them better. Let your actions speak louder than your words. And when you do that, and I'm not talking about doing that with um, one lucky litter. You know, one lucky litter and then you lose all your humbleness. I know a lot of people do that, man. They have one litter, they think it's amazing. Lose all their humbleness. Then the next thing you know, they talking and they cursing on their videos. They doing this, and then when the dog turns five months, it freaking grows up to be, you know, um, tall, skinny, and lanky. Nobody wants the puppies no more, and you know, you done lost all your humbleness and you lose your respect. <clears throat> you know, that's that's not cool. That's not cool. You know, or you have one litter, you you sell a few puppies. And now, now you think you freaking um, bully God, like people say. It's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. There's no such thing as freaking bully gods. But, you know, you think you're bully God. You don't have one litter. You ain't never even experienced something. Keep on breathing. You know? I just, I, I just be in my own little lane, mind my own business. You know? And let people do all the promotion for me.
That's why I love these live videos, man. This live thing is, is a great, great tool. Of course, not everybody can go live. You know, shout out to the ones who can. <clears throat> you know? <laughs> Fat boy G, you want some of that fish, huh, homie? <laughs> you want some of that fish, huh? Man, I, 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 wish, I wish I knew where you was. I, I mean, I would ship you some fish. I got, a, I got a lot of fish, man. I've been catching a lot. I've been putting them in the freezer. Bayou Kennels, he don't catch no fish. Bayou Kennels don't catch no fish. So I'm just stacking up my freezer. Every now and then I give him a fish. <laughs> I'm just talking, y'all. I'm just talking. Diesel, what's up, baby? What's up, dog? You all right? The Big Mac. The Big Mac, man. To the Big Mac, macaroni. What's up, dog? You all right? He's just a dog, y'all. He's just a dog. At the end of the day, they just dogs, man. I love them, man. They could be the best. <clears throat> and they could be the worst. And I ain't gonna lie, they'll never know that they not even up to quality, man. You know what I'm saying? They'll never know if they weren't. I would treat them the same. You know, I ain't, I ain't trying to be no big fish in the, the bully community and all that old funny mumbo jumbo. I just love dogs, man. I just love dogs, I ain't gonna lie to you. And I do the best that I know how. <clears throat> But, dog speak for yourself. Jeez, I'm gonna let you out, man, but you gotta be on your best behavior, man. You gotta be on your best behavior. And don't go messing with me. What's up, Cleopatra? Let Diesel come out. Let your grandpa come out. You guys know Diesel is um, Cleopatra's grandpa. Brian is my brother. Good man. Hey, man, I appreciate it, uh, Merlin, man. I love you, man. What girl you think Tank would be good to go with? Man. Well, Big Al, it's still entirely too early for that, you know, honestly. Um, I mean, I think he's an amazing dog, and, you know, he can probably, he could probably do good with pretty much anything, you know what I'm saying? Because he is amazing. But he's still very young, and it's, it's, it's even too early to even be thinking about breed. Just like we had discussed before. Yeah, man. That that would be nice, Jerome. Um, I mean, I think he would go great with Cleopatra. I, I would actually, I would use Tank on Cleopatra. No doubt. I would use Tank on Cleopatra. You know, Tank is, is an amazing dog. Um, he would go good with um, Bree. I mean, he would go good with Soleil. You know, the... The names are just, it's like that, you know, you go good with, with all these nice dogs. Anything clean. I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to tell y'all something about breeding that I've learned. This is the key. This is, this is what I learned over the years. Nobody told me this. This is what I've learned. If I got a dog, all right, say I got a female, she has a half decent structure with a high rear, all right? Nice, nice, she got a high rear. And I said half decent. I know um, the bully, the, the little bully experts, they try to hold on to everything you say, but this is me and y'all talking, you know? Uh, she got a half decent structure, but she got a high rear. So, whenever I choose a male for this dog, I have to choose a male that I feel is lacking nothing and adding to this girl. Like, I'm not gonna choose a male, if she got a nice head or a big chest, I'm not gonna choose a male that has an all right chest but has a nice rear. That's that's not selective breeding, you know? And nobody had to tell me this, this is what I learned from experience. I'm gonna find a male who's gonna compliment her rear but not lack anything else in her structure. You know what I'm saying? If she got a, a half decent chest but great everywhere else, I'm not gonna just find a male who got a nice chest but got a horrible rear end and say, 
they complement each other because he's going to add the chest to her and she's going to add the rear to him. It don't work like that. You find a male that has a nice chest and a nice rear to match what she's lacking, but he's not lacking. You know, that's, that's selective breeding. Diesel has one of the best rear ends that I've ever seen. You know, he has one of the best rear ends that, I, that I've ever seen. And I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna breed him to something that, that has less of a quality, I mean that he has less of a quality to them because that's, that's backwards. Can we see a video of Tank? Hey, I, I want to. I want him to make a video. I told him to send one because I, I've contacted a lot of people who got offsprings to send me a little something, so I can start um, putting together a video. I just been so busy, man. I can't never really chill, and at work, work has been crazy. They actually trying to make me work at work. You know, and I try to tell my supervisor, man, look, I ain't, I ain't coming for this. I'm a dog man. I, I just come here. But they ain't, they ain't having it, man. They want me to work. They want me to work. So while I'm at work, I'm actually working way more than I want to. But, I mean, it is what it is. The Big Mac. The Big Mac. Can't get enough of that little girl, man. I really can't. But Bree... You know, to be the first production to have it here, I mean, I just love it, man. Oh, a good shot of Emma, y'all. What y'all think, man? Tell me something, man. What y'all think? Y'all check out the male I bred her with, Structure Line Player. Look, look at her ear, her rear end. Her rear end is nice, y'all. Real nice rear end. An amazing dog. Her and the Big Mac is gonna kill it. Her and the Big Mac is gonna kill it. How dare they want you to work? I know, man. I, that's what I'm like, man, the nerve of y'all. The nerve of y'all. You know? And they know, they know I'm a 100% dog man. They know I'm a 100% dog man. You know? And, and want me to work. Man, the tub, y'all. I got the tub. So now I just dump my little water in the tub and the drain. Man, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. I can put the little, put the little uh, water bowl in there. Man. I tell you what, man. When you take some of that money that you're making and you just add a little bit to the program, oh, it makes life so much easier, man. It makes life easier, it really does. Yep, it really, 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 really does. I used to, like for the mop bucket, the mop bucket doesn't fit through the little trap door I made to get to the drain. So I usually have to walk outside with it. Now I just dump it in there, put fresh water. Life is good, y'all. Life is good. Life is good. Sometimes even better than that, when when I when I don't have time to make videos with my real life, I got people to make them for me. Life is good, man. Take those negatives and turn them into the positive. Let them make a video for me. And then y'all get to see me even when I'm busy. I mean, if, if that ain't living, I don't know what is. You know what I mean? That ain't living, I don't know what it is. So it, it, it's all about, it's all about what you make of it. Turn them negatives into positives. <clears throat> and do your thing. And do your thing. And look y'all, these water bowls got water in them, yeah. They got water in them from this morning. But I mean, 
I'm in here, I'm in here talking, I'm in here cleaning the cans. The dogs are running bananas. I hope none of them are out. The dogs are running crazy out there. So why not just change their water twice a day or, you know, every day? You would be amazed with the, the difference you see in your dog by giving them fresh water every day. If I could, man, I would have a freaking Kent water, Kent water, water dispenser in here. But I, I struggle to buy them the food that they need. You know, I struggle to buy them the food that they need. <clears throat> Work hard, play harder, man. You know what it is, brother. Life is what you make of it. It really is. Time to put the tub to work. Great work. Man, I've, been, I've actually used it, man. Emma's looking good. She looks pregnant to me. I can't wait to see. Oh, man. Oh, man. Appreciate it. Hey, bro, I need a female about, about decent size, huh? Man, I tell you what, man. Jake. Honest and truly, brother, I would love to see you with a female about these size. Cause I already know what you'll do with it. Man, you'll do some damage. You'll do some damage with it, brother. I promise you, I know it. Man, you'll do some damage with it. Just imagine Brie. I, I couldn't imagine Brie in your hands. Kevin West, I'm not sure, man. Um, The guy who owns her, the guy who owns her, uh, he had it. He had it. Uh, I mean, I'm tripping. I'm, I'm looking at something and I'm talking. I'm talking crazy. He has her. And they, they love her, you know. Bree is a good dog and they love Bree. So I'm just going to keep her here. Whelp the litter. I'm doing the breeding with... Um, I'm uh, doing the breeding with Diesel. I'm going to keep her here. Whelp the litter. Sell the puppies. And then whenever she's done, she's going to go back home. You know. Um, if they ever choose to get rid of her, believe me, she's coming here. You know, believe me, she's definitely, definitely coming here. The tub works. The tub works great. I decided what I was going to do and how I was going to do it. I'm off for seven days. So every day, I'm going I'm to bathe one dog. Every time I'm off. That's twice, that's twice a month. No major strain. One dog a day gets bathed. Bam. Problem is solved. But I did, I did, um, I did shoot the video of bathing Mandingo, but I know a lot of y'all don't know because <clears throat> I don't really be talking about it, but my phone, my phone stays maxed out because I got like freaking 12,000 pictures on it, uh, probably a hundred videos, and I never take the time to get on a computer and actually transfer nothing because I never stop moving. So... My phone, I actually delete videos after I put them on YouTube. I delete them on my phone and take the next one. When you getting off, we, you know, breathe, you know, so I'll start Thursday in the morning, come with me. Um, I'm, my last day is Wednesday. I never, I never really seen it. Um, Tiffany, the Rima, is that how you uh, say it? And I mean, She's only a puppy, so I don't really know how she's gonna turn out. I mean, you know the Big Mac, you know, you know what he does. Um, I mean, you've used him before. He did an amazing job with um, with Deja. That was a really y'all come with me. Yes, man. Y'all try to come with me. If it's Thursday, you know I'm be her mom is. I'm gonna have to check out that name. If it's Thursday, you know when I get off, I'm going to be sleeping for sure. 
But we'll, we'll see how it goes. You know, I don't, I don't like to make promises because I have so much going on. I have so much going on over here, I really don't even have time for myself to do all the things that I want to do and, and need to do. You know? So I try not to make too many promises because I can't do Yeah, What's up, baby? Yeah, man. Lisa. And look, I'm going to tell y'all something. You guys know I've been feeding the purple bag of Victor for about six months. I've been, um, L.O.E. and Roy. Man, it's been a long time, uh, Jay. Been a long time. We've talked about that, man. Been a long time. We talked about it, man. And I really believe they could, uh, they could do some major, major damage. You know, you know, I don't have, I don't feel I have the nicest dogs in the world. But one thing I do have that's that's priceless. And that's dogs that stick from head to tail with amazing drive. These dogs are thick from head to tail. And they have drive that's, that's unbelievable. That you just don't really see what a bully like talking about, you know? Um, a lot of people say they have drive and, and they show their little, um, their little spring pole videos where their dog's feet are still on the ground. And they shake the rope a couple times. Or they might pick the dog up for a split second. This dude here, man, hang for an hour. This dude hang for an hour, bleeding. I mean, just drive, real drive. And coming from a background that I come from with the dogs, I've heard that name before. Coming from the background the dogs I have, you see real true drive you know I just got a, a low battery um, a low battery light so what I'm gonna do before before it cuts off on y'all I don't want it to cut off on y'all I'm gonna start filling these bowls up right quick I'm gonna start moving a little faster maybe less talking you guys know I, I run my mouth I'm gonna start moving a little faster tell y'all the story. I had a guy um, from Atlanta. He hit me up yesterday. And uh, the guy was like, hey B, do you have any, um, you have any pictures of diesel? I was like, man, pictures? I was like, I mean, I do, I do have a lot of pictures, but I, I got plenty of videos of them, you know? 
was like, well, I, I want to I wanna see some pictures of them. I was like, man, this is the first time I ever heard somebody want to see a picture over a video. And he was like, nah. He said, I've seen him on video many times. He said, um, but I hear, I hear so much talk about him, you know, um, and see so much talk about him, good and bad. I just, I just want to see him. I want to see him from all angles, you know. So I was like, yeah, that's cool, you know. And um, I sent him like freaking 15 pictures that that I had just took live. And um, he was like, man, you know. He said, I'm gonna tell you, man. He said, um, I was telling my wife. He said. I was telling my wife, he was like, when I ask you for pictures, or if you ask people of pictures, they send you breeding banners, or they send you these pictures that are all uh, fixed up and edited. You never see any live pictures. And he was like, you know, through all what's been going on, you still remain humble. I don't hear you arguing with people or talking about people over the internet. And I wanted to use diesel and um, my wife was like, man, let's, let's try to see some good pictures of him. So, to make a long story short, with, with all, with all the, the other people promoting him and stuff, uh, negative and positive, it always, it always turns out to be what it's going to be because at the end of the day, the, the hate towards me can't never take away from them. They're going to always speak for themselves, you know? And when you got people who are constantly talking about you and talking about the dogs, whether it's good or bad, all, all, all it does is, is speak volume for you. Because when you're constantly saying this and saying that, um, and the dogs... Every single one of them are constantly in view for people to look at and Nikki call you and, and see things for themselves and interact and talk with you and and pray that someone else steps up and says, you know, hey, this guy is full of crap, but but you don't see that, you know. Um, it really, really speaks a lot, man. And, you know, for, for him to notice it, like, man, you know, I appreciate it. I appreciate the way you've been kind of handling things. You know, because people speak up for you. You know, people speak up for you and you don't even know it. And then, you know, when you turn and you change, you don't make yourself look bad. You make the people look bad. You make the people look bad that been sticking up for you all these years. You know, so it was real, it was real warm. Um, and he was like, man, what's the deposit? What's the deposit to use diesel? I was like, man, <laughs> diesel ain't dying no time soon. I, I hope, my brother. I said, there's no need for no deposit. There's no need for a deposit on the stud that ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? That ain't going nowhere. If your dog comes in heat eight months or a year or two years down the line, I mean, whenever you do the breeding, you pay for them. You ain't got to send me no deposit to lock a, a diesel stud credit. You know that, that doesn't even make sense, you know? That doesn't even make sense, you know? So it, it was good. It was good to, to, you know, be reassured, you know, that you got people, that you got people that, that really look at you for who you truly are, no matter what. And, you know, I always, I always said, you know, you believe, None of what you hear and some of what you see, you know, because we live in a very deceiving world. We live in a very deceiving world where jealousy, where jealousy and envy can take over, can take over someone's heart and spirit. And, you know, you see people on a daily sell out their own family members and moms. So just imagine what they'll do for you. I seen somebody said two cups. I actually feed one and a half. You know. Yo, young Diddy, what's up, baby? Amy. 
What's up? That's my wife calling. All right, y'all. Check this out. The boss lady's calling. I'm fixing to let all these crazy dogs in. No telling what she needs from me. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Come on in. That's it. All right, look, look. Dinah went to her own kennel. So Lady went to her own kennel. Dingo, he's going to his own kennel. Go ahead, boy. He's going in. They know where they live, y'all. They know where they live. And they know what food is there. I love these dogs, y'all. I love them, man. I love them. I want to wring their neck sometime with all that barking, but at the end of the day, I love them. Look, she want to get in that kennel. So that, hey, get them up. Go in the kennel. Go in the kennel. I know. I... Now look, what I said, y'all, what I said about Cleopatra, I'm gonna show y'all right quick. Y'all know I put, y'all know I put, um, y'all know I put enough food in there for two dogs. Cleopatra ate it all. Look, fat, greedy self. So, hey man, thank y'all for watching. Really appreciate all the love and support. You guys are humble. You guys, I remain humble. I love all the feedback. I love all the, uh, Love and support. You guys are ama amazing. Thank y'all so much. <clears throat> we are definitely not a perfect kennel, but you know what? I love them like they are perfect. I really do. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, she calling, man. Look, look a good shot of a good shot of Emma. Don't move. <laughs> that girl, that she just be posted up. All right, Jane. Hey, Quinn, Quinn B. It's three three seven four four six. 5933. Three. Send me a text or a call. It doesn't matter. All right, Latrenda, see you later. Thank y'all for watching. Much love. Royal Kills. Salute. We out.